Let's take a look at how you compute NPV and IRR on the HP B2 Plus calculator. Now, if you've used the um, HP 12C or you've used a Texas Instruments BA2 Plus, uh, the procedure is slightly different. So even with the other HP, the procedure for loading the information in is a bit different. So suppose you have the following cash flow. So you have a project that costs 100000 and it has cash flows of 25000 35000 40000 and 50000 And let's assume that the, the weighted average cost of capital is 12%. So let's see what we would do here. So let me just zoom up on this so you can see some of the functions. I'll have to zoom out because otherwise it cuts off part of my calculator. But what you want to do is you want to type in the numbers and then put them in by hitting this CFJ. So the first number you put in will be CF0, the second number will be CF1, etc., etc. So you'll put those numbers in this way. So let's, let's take a look. Let's try and do that. So first you want to clear your workspace. So you want to hit this um, rust-colored function key with the down arrow and under the C here is see all so clear all so let's just clear everything out of the memory so let's put the uh, numbers in hundred thousand and then you want to change the sign so up here is plus minus and you hit this and it tells you this is CF0 and there's your first value and let's go to the second value 25,000 and again, we just hit that CFJ key, 35,000. and 50,000 for the last cash flow. To put in the interest rate, or the weighted average cost of capital, we use this I slash YR key, which happens to be part of these time value of money function keys, but it also serves as where you put the interest rate in here using this cash flow worksheet. So we're going to put in 12%, and we will simply compute it by, let me uh, zoom up here a little bit, right here under the PRC key, is NPV. So we can hit this red down or this rust colored down arrow function key and hit this and we get a, a net present value of 10,470 and 33 cents. It's positive so we want to accept this project. So really easy to do that. And if you want to calculate internal rate of return right next to it on the CST is IRR slash YR, so uh, internal rate of return per year, and again we have to hit the function key, and we see it's 16.36 percent, which makes sense. The rate or the IRR should exceed the weighted average cost of capital. That's why the project has a positive NPV. So really quite easy to use this. Okay, the procedure is a bit different if you've used some of the other financial calculators but um, really easy to do.